Milan, you have a, a lot of experience, obviously, in the playoffs, and I'm sure during the course of your Stanley Cup run with Boston, uh, maybe people forget that once in a while a goaltender steals one, and that's part of the game, isn't it? It is. Uh, I remember back in uh, 2011, I think uh, Tim Thomas made like 54 saves or something in game two in the second round against the Flyers to give us a win. So, you know, sometimes those happen, and this time of year, wins and losses is all that matters. And uh, your, goal, your goaltender steps up at times. And uh, fortunately for us, uh, he, he, Talos was able to step up and uh, get us a huge win yesterday. And, uh, you know, we need, uh, as players, to bounce back uh, heading into game three. And uh, we're in a good spot right now. And, and uh, you know, it's... Uh, you know, those are the type. Those are the type of wins that you need sometimes from your goaltender. Are you uh, surprised at this stage that your team is still finding ways to win, or the fact that you've been finding ways to win all season long? You sort of used to it and have that expectation. You know where I'm going here, right? Yeah, yeah. You know what? Uh, you know, just just enjoying the moment. You know, uh, from from the start of September to to now, uh, I think we've just been enjoying the moment and. Uh, just focusing on ourselves and, and listening to the coach and what he wants us to do. And it's been giving us success all season long. When you, Thomas made the 54 saves, did you just roll by the Flyers or how did that start? Uh, well, we ended up winning the next two games at home, but also from another standpoint, uh, I remember in 2000, the year before, we were up 3 nothing against the Flyers and we ended up losing in game seven. So, uh, and I know even Todd has, was up 3 nothing against the LA Kings in, in 2014, and they ended up losing in game seven as well. So uh, no lead is comfortable, especially against a team like this uh, with some really high-end players with the team with a lot of pride. They got a coach that's really experienced and uh, players that are really experienced, and uh, we can't. You know, we can't take any situation lightly. So uh, game three is going to be a big, big game, and we got to be ready to play. Is that a message that you pass along to everyone, just that no lead is comfortable, given that these guys haven't been in a situation like this before? Yeah, for sure. And I think uh, someone like myself and the coaching staff like themselves, who have been a part of uh, the losing end of historic comebacks, uh, it's – it's easy to pass those mes messages along. So, uh, and also, I think we learned some pretty good lessons in the first round, you know, with the seven nothing loss, and uh, you can't take any situation lightly. So, we just got to be uh, ready to play uh, when when the next game comes. What are you expecting it to be like at Rogers Place tomorrow with the fans? I mean, it's going to be a gong show in there. Uh, the fans have been great, obviously. Uh, so far through the playoffs and I'd say the last 10 home games of the season and they're going to be ready to rock. So uh, we better be ready to match uh, the, the spirit and the motions of, 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 of the fans. What didn't you like about the game even though you won? I mean, can you look back and say, okay, we never pressed the issue offensively or we got the lead and we couldn't get a third goal or, or we just sat back too much and let Cam make all the saves or as a as a player who's not the goalie? Um, you know, uh, maybe we didn't establish enough zone time and get enough of those second and third chances that uh, you need to get, uh, you know, to score goals in this league. Now, nowadays, goalies are, are, are so, so good. It's hard to beat them on that first shot. And I don't think we created enough opportunities, especially with second and third chances uh, to to get more than two goals and extend the lead last game. But uh, at this time of year, whatever you got to do to find ways to win games is is all that matters. And, uh, you know, we're, I'm sure uh, our coaches are going to have find some video f uh, for us to improve. And I know uh, their coach is going to find some video for, for them to improve. So, uh, you know, that's that's what it's going to come down to heading into the next game.